Hello my friends of Genshin Impact, my name is Tildrell and I welcome you all to my guide for The Lost Valley. This is a continuation to all my other artifact farming guides that I made for newer players, free to play players or light spending players. Before we go on with this video I just wanted to warn you about this particular artifact set because it's bad. Don't farm for this artifact set ever guys yeah don't get fooled by this 70 percent attack increase for one attack if you want to farm for an auto attacking artifact set okay then farm for the gladiator set that uh, you can transform with the new alchemy options yeah and um you can farm for the shiminawa set instead don't go for this set this will just let your um, dps plummet okay just farm in this artifact domain when you have xiao or another character that can use this artifact set right here, this vermilion hereafter set. Now, before we dive into the domain itself, just let me show you real quick how to unlock it first, because it can be a little bit tricky if you don't know what to do, because you need to get rid of a stone that is located right here and blocks the passage. What you need to do to get rid of this boulder is your Geo Traveler. You need to place your E here first and stand on top of it to be heavy enough to activate um, this little gateway right here. Then you just fly over to this pulsating rock and use your second cast of your elemental skill here. This will make this whole structure pulsating and as you can see this one will resonate as well your structure so the pulse goes far enough to um, get rid of this stone right here that blocks your way and after you've done that you can go in here and activate your domain for fast travel purposes as well now let's finally start the domain i just need to swap out machio traveler again he's only here for puzzle solving to be honest, at least on my account. Just let me change it back to Sinyan. Oh, yeah. Okay, when you are a newer player or a free-to-play player, um, just invest in a polearm user like Shangling or Rosaria and equip them with Crescent Pike. Crescent Pike is here to help you through all the game when you are a free-to-play player or you aren't that far advanced in story and team building, etc. And this is a better weapon than just a four star weapon okay you need to trust me on that you need to build a physical dps with a pole arm okay and equip the dps with crescent pike since Shangling has been a free character to obtain so many times already i picked her for the free to play team diona was free like two times already as well so she's our healer if you have bandit instead of diona you have a more damage oriented team without um the safety diona provides of course for a physical team you need a cryo and an electro character for super conduct so keep that in mind i have my official right here because she is the perfect damage support and at the fourth slot you just need a utility support i have my sinyan here because she boosts physical damage output even more and um if you have other characters in slot one and two you need to make sure that you have at least one cryo and one electro character with you okay so you need to fill in your fourth slot um regarding to that matter if you were lucky in your gacha pulls and you pulled Rosaria, you can place her in this team instead of Shang Ling. In my opinion, she works even better as physical DPS than Shang Ling. But for the real free-to-play spirit, okay, um, I show you the clear with Shang Ling right now. I think this domain is the most difficult for my uh, free-to-play team out of um, all the artifact farming domains there are in this game at this point because there are only ruin guard enemies and we all know ruin guard enemies have the highest physical resistance and we play a physical damage team if you are lucky enough in your gacha pulls and you have a whole elemental damage team going then i think you won't have any problem whatsoever in this domain but for the sake of this video i'm showing it with a little yeah, handicap just make sure you get your reactions going from the get-go and then you just attack with your Crescent Pike carry. Just one, two, three auto attacks that you cancel into the charged attack. 
this is the best damage rotation, let's say, for uh, Polar users. Again. In my experience, you really can ignore the other Ruin Guard's enemies until this one finally falls down. Because, yeah, they don't really do that much damage. And as long as you damage and stun lock the big Ruin Guard, it should be okay. But, and that was it. Pretty long clear, almost two minutes. Of course, we can optimize that. And I think I could show you the same clear with Rosaria as main DPS instead, because it's quicker. Since we have the superconduct reaction going with Fischl and Rosaria, we can fill into Pyro users for the other two slots for the Pyro Resonance, which is nice flexibility as well. Of course, for more crowd control, you could pick Xing Shu instead of Sin Yan, for example. And yeah, perma freeze or semi perma freeze your opponents as well. And you have a little bit of um, elemental damage, a little bit more elemental damage uh, within as well. So yeah, um, my opinion, uh, Rosaria physical DPS team is much more flexible than what Shang Ling provides. But as I said, you have to be a little bit more lucky with the whole gacha situation. Yeah, he is damaged and stun locked. Goodbye. And now we just have to will down this one. <sighs> yeah, and as I said, a little bit faster, like 30 seconds faster. And without uh, small gameplay mistakes, I think I messed up my rotation one or two times right here. I could have been even faster for like 10 seconds, yeah. Of course, if you have premium units, you can be even faster than that. But this is a pretty good groundwork, yeah? A solid foundation you can build up from. And if you have this team right here or the team before, you can clear every content in this game, even the Abyss, until floor 12, if you have, of course, another team. I have countless videos on my channel for the Abyss where I played a Rosaria main DPS team and cleared everything with maximum stars, okay? You don't need five stars in this game to be able to clear all the content. You need to understand the game and make use of the reactions. This is the most important part. Anyway, that was my little guide video. I hope you learned something and of course, I hope that we see each other in my other videos as well. Bye.